Children who suffer anxiety and have the symptoms that are so debilitating will actually develop depression. Often these children will also end up self-harming and in rarer cases, although it does happen, uh, some of those children end up committing suicide. I can honestly guarantee uh, that from all the children I've seen, I've had not had one failure. I put it down to some of it being psychoeducation uh, and also cognitive behavioural therapy that I practice. But also I do believe it is the great relationship that I build with that child and the empathy and understanding I have of them having anxiety. Furthermore, I think that it is not always everyone that can relate well to kids, whether they be five or six or they be teenagers. And I've always had an outstanding way of, I guess, relating to kids and they feel very comfortable to talk to me and not judged. And that makes it very, very easy for me to have those conversations with children. Now, it's not just a matter of me talking to them. I show them videos. I give them the information that they need to know about what's going on in their brain. But also, the subsequent visits are not to actually focus always on the anxiety because we've already done that in the first session. So we've actually got given them the tools and the understanding. What it is is to build confidence, to get them to understand it doesn't matter if they don't look like the next person on line who's flashing their very skinny body and explaining to kids that we don't all look the same we all come from different cultures and it's okay it's all right and you know what some guys really like girls with a few curves you know some boys love girls with freckles and I'll show them a video of the guys that they follow online you know the, the super youtubers who will be giving an opinion about what they like about girls and nothing about it is about the body it's about, oh, I like girls that smile. I like girls who are fun and get down and, you know, can hang around with their guys and throw a football. I like girls with freckles. I like girls, you know, like they're not really worried the way they look and they're just like really natural. This is what helps teenagers understand that their vision of beauty is quite skewed and that we're all different. I also work greatly on increasing the confidence of them and drawing out their strengths and showing them what they have to offer because till someone sits down and works with them they have no idea a lot of kids judge themselves on how well they did in maths a lot of kids are illiterate in schools they can't read and write well so they think I'm just dumb and stupid and I hear it all the time oh but miss I'm dumb oh no but I'm just stupid I can't read I can't do maths and it is those times where I take the time to sit down and say hey listen you're not stupid. 90% of kids are pretty illiterate because of technology. But you know what? Look what I notice about you and what you are good at. Okay, you may not be great at that, but wow, aren't you great at building stuff in manual arts? These are the things children need to hear, and this is why I believe I'm really successful at healing children. It's a holistic approach of working with kids, not just talking about the anxiety. That is the first session. When kids come to me the first time, and I'm always waiting for them to come back, and I'm waiting for them to come back and say, oh, you know, I've had you know, three or four anxiety attacks, uh, which have reduced from having 10 a day for the last two years. I think I've only ever had one who have ever come back and said, I've had one anxiety attack this week. Now, I myself am, am taken aback. This is not just claims I'm making, this really, really is true and I've had parents who've thrown their arms around me and hugged me and started crying and say you've changed our lives um, and I do believe it's for all the things that I've said you know building relationships up with children and knowing how to talk to kids so that you don't sound like you're lecturing them but that you're more of a mate and a friend and that you, you kind of got the wisdom of life and you're sharing it with them to show them the videos, to show, give them the knowledge that they need to understand what's going on in their brain and why they're like that. To teach them about why they think the way they do and not to lay awake at night worrying all night about what they said to someone and feeling like, oh my God, everyone thinks I'm stupid. Instead of getting them to realise, do you know what? That person's not even thinking about you. Trust me, they're like doing something else. They're like 
playing their Xbox, uh, chatting to their friend on their mobile and Facebook. They're not worrying about you, but you spend all night worrying about them and not sleeping because of it. And these are the things that I teach children and this is the holistic approach that I believe in. And drawing out these strengths and doing this stuff for kids, it's absolutely amazing, the results. And as a teacher, I've always been very successful at making these relationships with kids and making them feel better about themselves and, and making them thrive in the classroom. I found as a teacher, so many times children would tell me things they hadn't told anybody else about self-harm, about depression, about sexual abuse, about being gay, about being transgender, about parents divorcing, about family disruptions. And they always seemed to tell me instantly and felt so very comfortable. And that allowed me to put strategies in place as a teacher with the guidance counsellor, with the nursing staff that were part of the school, and to make sure that that child was supported by those people and the teachers. And so the same applies in my business. So I contact the guidance counsellor and I explain to them that that I have this child who's having anxiety and I put strategies into place for that child with the guidance officer and into the classroom at school so the child can feel comfortable and safe. Additionally, I make sure that the teachers also are aware of the issues with the child, not disclosing any private and personal information the child has given me, but to explain that they are suffering from anxiety and I have success. I really do. So I look forward to seeing you because if you have a child with anxiety, believe me, anxiety neurologically has shown that it can develop into depression. And once it develops into depression, that becomes a real issue for the child because depression then becomes a terrible, sad, overwhelming feeling all the time. And that can lead to self-harm and it can also sadly and thank God in rarer cases but it does happen suicide and that has touched my life as a teacher where I've lost a couple of students and it's devastating to think that a young person would actually draw out a gun and put it to their head to me that's unfathomable at the age of 14 so depression, to get that depressed and to get to that stage certainly shows that this is a serious issue. I have a passion for the well-being of children. I practice from a home office and I often find that kids feel really comfortable. As a parent you can bring them in and you can come in with them and make them feel comfortable and then I've got an outside veranda where you can sit and you know wait if you like and play on your phone and you're right next to them if you need to be. At the same time some teenagers are quite happy because they develop such an instant bond with me and trust me that they don't mind if you go off and shop for an hour. Also, I do online counselling and that can also be highly successful. In 2013, I became a career and guidance counsellor and that gave me the formal qualifications despite the fact that for so many years I've been helping children and in fact helping adults in the adult education industry over a long period of time who also disclose problems to me and I would direct them to psychological counselling and services in the community. And working in the schools, it made me realise just how much children need help. The incredible thing I found was children disclosed things to me when I was working as guidance counsellor instantly just like they had when I was a teacher and they would tell me their deepest and darkest secrets. This enabled me to refer them for community counselling specialist services so if they were had disclosed sexual abuse I would send them to sexual abuse counsellors. If they disclosed anxiety I would send them to anxiety counsellors and then I would check on them every week and see how they were going. What I realised as a guidance counsellor in schools that I actually did not have the time to counsel and that is why I did my masters. I wanted to work one-on-one -on -one with kids and counsel them but as a guidance counsellor there's so much paperwork you don't have time to do that it's all about referring on. What I also found that these teenagers and kids that I was counselling and referred on would come back and they weren't happy with the services that they were getting. Often there were comments like I don't feel so comfortable to talk to that person like I do with you. Or there would be comments like, 
Well, the counsellor keeps on looking at their watch and I just don't feel he or she is interested. This really made me rethink why I was in the schools being a guidance counsellor because it didn't seem to foster my passion. And so I decided I'd open my own business. And while I was doing that, I would also relief teach. And so this is now my business. And I am so much more fulfilled as I get to spend that one-on-one -on -one with kids. And when I see the results, and when I see the gratefulness of their parents, not only the child, but the parents who hug me and thank me, I cannot even tell you what an incredible reward that is for me. So if you have a child that's suffering anxiety, please bring them to me. I can guarantee you results. And I don't say that lightly. It is only because I've seen the results that I've achieved firsthand, including even a psychologist bringing her 14 year old son to me and writing a testimonial that you will see on my website about my service and how I helped her son. I have so many people who have been so grateful for the change in their children. And when I say I heal quickly, believe me, I do. So I look forward to seeing you. You will notice uh, that I have a website, PD Training, Personal and Professional Development Training. My contact number's on there. And if you'd like to go and have a look, you will read my whole biography of everything I've done in my life and all my qualifications. Uh, and also the fact that I belong to a regulatory body in Australia called the QGCA. Counselling is not officially regulated in Australia and the regulatory bodies would like this done because Anyone can run a practice even with a six-week certificate. And the regulatory bodies insist there must be a minimum of a master's degree to practice as a counsellor or psychologist and that you have to be, have had supervision and that you must commit to professional development every year for a specified amount of hours and you must also stick to the ethical conduct standards and practices.